everybody, Ann here, sitting here on my porch once again, having my coffee with all of you, reading your wonderful, lovely comments. And yeah, I'm still wearing the same shirt. Oh, AJ, I'm not gonna pan down because I don't even have my bra on yet. And believe me, nobody wants to see that. They're like, they're like wind socks these days. <laughs> but anyhow, AJ, I'm still wearing your shirt. I wore it to the vet's office yesterday. In fact, every single time I go into town, I wear my Yes I Have Worms t-shirt and people ask me about it and then I tell them about who's on the back, um, AJ's Green Topics, so that's, that's awesome. Anyhow, um, it has been raining all night. It rained most of yesterday and all night and I've already checked the rain barrels. I'm going to show them to you in a minute. They are all full. Yesterday when it was raining super hard I went out there pouring down rain and um, I filled up my wash bin, my wash tub because I've got all those linens and pillowcases and sheets and comforter and whatever um, that Betty peed all over that I've got to get washed and so I got that kind of like halfway filled up, put the plug in, the water's still there this morning and both of the rain barrels are full and all the little other buckets, the one that I have sitting out in front of it, that's almost full. Um, then my the bucket that I collect to, for washing, that's full. There's another like big cooler that I put underneath by the plants, um, the, the raised beds by the tiny house, that's full. So I've got I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of water, and I'm going to be able to do a ton of laundry, and that's great. And all my plants are getting watered, so I don't have to expend the energy to do that myself today. But I want to look around at some things because, you know what, it's been a couple days since I've looked at my plants. And um, so I'm going to go check that out. I may just get out in the rain and do it. Um, and Betty, is, she's right down here by me, and she's just giving me her little hug with her, with her leg. And um, she's feeling very good today. So, um, oh. Since you're gonna knock it over, oh, hang on a second. What you doing, Betty? Look at that tail going. She knocked over the uh, the tripod. She is just getting all lovey with me. So this morning, oh, she wants to get up in my lap. This morning, look at that little paw. It's trying to come up. Um, she woke up. She was fine. Um, I did give her. Well, I gave her the enteric coated aspirin, and I've since learned that. From the smart people in my comment section, that um, that's not dogs won't be able to digest the coating. So I'm going to get her some regular aspirin. Um, last night I fed her her favorite meal of chicken and rice, just before bed, just a small portion, and I made a little bit for myself too. And so she made it through the night just fine and didn't have any seizure symptoms. Didn't have any kind of like vacant stares, you know, how they get that look in their face. Um, this morning got up, she had a little bit of honey before she even got out of bed um, because she just likes to kind of lounge in bed, you know, and so I figure that might be hypoglycemia right there. And um, she did the big stretch thing where they put their butt up and they kind of stretch their front paws out and I was worried because it, that's what she looks like when she's starting to go into a seizure but she did that and she didn't go into a seizure she got up and down the steps without any problems at all and um, no further seizure activity so you're a good girl you will go back inside because it's raining all right there I pulled that a little bit closer because the rain and I wanted to make sure you guys could hear me um, so anyhow um, also what I've done is I have been using this you can see it's almost gone I had been using this on myself and there were many times when I sprayed it on myself because I was out sitting on the porch late you know into the night and um, I didn't want to get bit and then I would crawl into bed with Betty um, so no more no more of this stuff unless I shower and remove my clothes before I crawl into bed and snuggle up with Betty so that's another thing um, there's another spray, it's inside, that has like peppermint oil, um, eucalyptus, or something like that. It's supposed to be an all-natural, organic sort of a thing um, to spray inside your house, and it says you can spray it on dogs too. Um, no more of that. I had sprayed that all over the inside of the tiny house, 
and I don't think it works anyhow because I would still be picking ticks off of me. Gross. So that's gone as well. Um, as soon as that other tick collar comes in, I'm going to pick that up for her. And uh, well, just kind of play it by ear, but for right now, things are okay. Um, I'm just going to prepare myself for her next seizure because I know what's going to happen. I think what I'm going to do, as soon as I can get to the store, I'm going to get a twin size, what do you call them, um, a plastic mattress cover so I don't have to keep cleaning and sanitizing and deodorizing my memory foam mattress um, because that just, I mean, it didn't get soaked, but the, the top layer was kind of wet, so I've been able to spray some sanitizer on it and deodorizer and, you know, get that up, um, so I think it's going to be okay. Um, other than that, I'm just going to hang tight, and when she has her next seizure, I'm just going to know that um, in the morning I'm going to call the vet and um, just take it day by day, so that's about all I can do. And, um, <clears throat> I need to get rid of this cough. I think it's dehydration because I have not been drinking enough fluids lately and uh, my mouth is dry, my throat is dry. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to get out in the rain. Even if it keeps raining all day, I'm going to look up my plants. Like I said earlier, there's some things that uh, I haven't seen in a while, so I don't really know how everything is doing. I've been hyper-focused on Betty, haven't been outdoors a whole lot. So hopefully some things are growing well. I'm hoping. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So let's go take a look around. The peppermint is really starting to grow. Chamomile's doing great. Uh, is that peppermint or oregano? God, I, I think that's oregano. And I think it's starting to try and come up. Lemon balm is doing great. Chives are still not doing good. More lemon balm. Cilantro, eh, it's doing all right. That peppermint, mm, I don't know, just not doing so hot. But check these out. They are still multiplying. They are multiplying and they're doing great. Look at all the extra ones that have come up over there. That is just so, so gorgeous. And here's another thought I had, you guys. You can see I've been trying to pick away at the little tiles. They're slippery. I'm going to get them all off and just leave this wood out here. I think it'll be easier for Betty to gain traction on her little paws. Uh, I think they may have been slipping a little bit on that slippery, slippery surface. I can't talk. Uh, so I'm going to take that all off and maybe that will help her, you know, get a little bit of traction to get up the steps easier. Uh, the time is doing great. Lemon balm is doing great. Stop. Chives still not doing so hot. Um, check out this little one. Remember that? It only had one little lead and it was kind of like tipping over and I didn't think it was going to be able to, to make it, but it is growing and it's getting more leaves. That one's doing great. This planter is doing pretty good and that basil that I planted from seed is trying so hard to grow. So this looks lovely. All of this is doing just fine. The beans are looking great. Um, that little yellow, I'm going to have to look into what that is. It could be too much sun. I don't know. This doesn't get sun all day long, so we'll just have to see. But they're getting new leaves um, all the time. They're starting to get a little bit bushier, so that's good. And the carrots. Yeah, I, I still need to get in here and kind of thin some of these out. But they're trying to grow. The cucumbers are doing just great. And look at my lettuce. It's starting to take off just a little bit. So, yes. Would you look at these tubs? <laughs> this one is totally full. This one is totally full. And it is not coming down forcefully enough. There's that little hole that's right there. When it's coming down really forcefully, um, the, little, the little thing comes out and into the middle of here. Right now it's just kind of trickling down. But this bucket is also full. And this one is almost full. Um, I need to change the position of this a little bit. Uh, that's okay. And here is that mushroom that I thought was a puffball. And it looks like it probably was because look, it's matured now. It's broken open in the middle. So I'm going to pull this up and see what it looks like. It's not broken out of a veil. And as puffballs mature 
they this is how they deposit their spore out into the universe they break it open and let's see if we just kind of give it a little squeeze what happens yep that's puffball spores so let me break this open and see what it looks like on the inside this is past its prime. Once a puffball mushroom gets to this stage and the flesh is anything other than pure white, you don't want to eat it. So this was a small one and it has already dispersed its spores out into the universe. So I'm going to just put this back down and maybe I'll get a few more puffballs eventually. Oh goodness, it's looking pretty swampy here guys. Yeah, the neighbor said that sometimes this area just gets totally swamped. So... We're just going to have to, oh yes, oh my gosh, it's so wet. Well, I'm going to just hope and pray that it doesn't get any more swamp than this and just totally wash my beds away. Let's take a look. Oh, there's all kinds of activity going on. Oh, I have fruit. I have, oh, look at that. Look at do you see that? Right. Sorry. Right there. I have a pepper. I have a pepper. Oh my gosh, I wish you could see it better. I'm going to have peppers. Oh, that is so exciting. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a better view. Can you see that? I'm a bad camera woman. I'm learning. Oh, that is so wonderful. Let's check out the potatoes. Oh, yes. Look at that. There's all kinds of potatoes coming up. And look at, there's even another new one coming up right there. There's two right there. Some there. Oh, my goodness. This is just exciting. So exciting. Oh, I hope this means I'm going to get potatoes. So once these get a little bit higher, um, I'm going to hill them up with a little bit more soil or mulch or whatever it is. Look, guys, I got my river back. <laughs> yeah, it's filling up. It is really filling up. Oh, look at that log with pretty mushrooms on it. I'm not going to go check them out just because I'd have to cross the river. But, yep, it's filling back up. But I also know that once it stops raining, it's going to dry up again. No biggie. Oh my goodness. What? What is that? What is it? It looks like a berry. Oh, do I have berries? Look at that. They look like wild berries. I've got these plants growing all over my property. I'm going to look these up. Please, please, God, let this be berries. This is towards the back part of my property, and literally everywhere back there, I have these growing just everywhere, and I think they're wild uh, raspberries, hopefully. I don't know. I'm definitely going to look them up, but you know what? I know many of you probably already know and will probably tell me. And gosh, if they are berries, I am going to be making some wild berry wine. Ha ha, yay! There's actually quite a lot more going on on my property, but this video's gotten long enough, so I'll save that for another day. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.